All right, so in the next one, we're basically trying to go in the other direction. We are given the density, and we're given a mass of some kind. Notice nothing really matches up here, um, and we're looking for volume. So we've got the same formula before. I've stacked it a little bit differently because we can stick this over one, and eventually we can work it like a proportion. Um, first, though, we probably want to go ahead and make the units all line up. So remember that for free, we can swap out cubic centimeters and milliliters. So we can just rewrite these units as grams per cubic centimeter. And then here, we want to remember that kilo or K means 1,000. So one kilogram is 1,000 regular grams, and that's going to be 8430 grams. And then now this converter, I don't want to accidentally use that. And that's perfect, actually. And we can use this format to our advantage. So where the density was 3.61 grams per cubic centimeter, I can take the one from the bottom and uh, make a horizontal bar and stack them this way. And then that way, um, when we've got our 84 or 30 grams, it has a place to go up here where we can see these corresponding units. And then on the bottom, the only thing we don't know is this volume. But notice grams and grams go along with each other they correspond here so they can be cancelled and then the cubic centimeters are left over and that's the answer i'm looking for so that's that's perfect um, it is a proportion so we can cross multiply we've got 3.61 times that volume we're looking for one times 84 is obviously not going to do a whole lot um, then to get v by itself we want to get rid of that number in front so multiplication now we'll do division to get rid of it and overall, 2335.18, and then leftover units from earlier cubic centimeters.